audio visual on the mic is Swayze. If you wanna have fun, then this the place to be. Morning show recorded, giving you the info daily. Yeah, you can't be bored with this show. Teachers better turn on your boy before I go. We keep you in the loop and we keep you in the know. Like the dress code, no cap. Getting back to the show. Good morning, Davidson. It's your boy, Andrew Snowberger. And it's your man, Hollis Bowden. And today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. And now, let's not pass the Galen for the weather because he hurt my feelings today. He's really mean, guys. Please, please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation, under, under God, God indivisibly, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. And now that you're all sitting, let's toss it on over for a moment in black history. Billie Holiday was born on April 7th, 1915 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her birth name is Eleonora Fagan. She was an American jazz and swing music singer with a career spanning 26 years. She was nicknamed Lady Day by her friend and music partner, Lester Young. After a turbulent childhood, Holiday began singing in nightclubs in Harlem, where she was heard by producer John Hammond. She signed a record contract with Brunswick in 1935. Throughout the 30s and 40s, she became a mainstream success. By the late 1940s, however, she was beset by legal troubles and drug abuse. She served a short time in prison and her reputation deteriorated because of her drug and alcohol problems. She was a successful concert performer in the 1950s, but then died on July 17, 1959, due to cirrhosis at the age of 44. Enough drama to go around. Please join us for our next Middle School Spectrum Players meeting, happening Tuesday, February 16th, with Club President Ren Ford and Vice President Adrian Carr. A virtual meeting over Teams. The information is located on Miss Davidson. Davidson's webpage, the time from 345 to 415. And also, an entire Thespi Point is available to those who attend. Thank you, we hope to see you there. And now, let's toss it to Annie and Charisma for Word of the Day. Hello, DFA. I'm Annie. And I'm Charisma. And today's word is subterfuge. It means deceit used to achieve something. Also, I'm in pain. Nobody cares about your pain. Anyway, <laughs> the camera woman wasn't too happy with that line, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> That's all we have for today. That was short. I know, I feel like these get shorter as we go. I'm running out of inspiration. Give us some inf inspiration, DFA. Yes, please. We need some. Yeah, we do. It's also really gloomy today, yeah. so it's just kind of with that mood. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for today. Yep. Bye. That that was a very excellent word you for know, today. Not my favorite, but it was it was a good yes, word. Yes, it, it was uh, it was up there. Yeah, I liked it. And, top three. Mm -hmm, top three. Maybe top five ish. That's mm -hmm. a little bit generous. Anyways, for lunch we'll have chicken tenders with roll, a bento box, glazed yams, fresh fruit, and milk. Glazed I have yams. to eat yams glazed, or else they don't taste the same. All right, once again, guys, no come birthdays. on, no birthdays. Just Hurry be up. born. Get like... born better. <laughs> God. Anyway, if you or any of your friends have birthdays coming up, email a name and picture to WDFA Morning Show at gmail.com, mm -hmm. and we will announce on the show. And once again, seniors, please check your mind for 2021 Fine Arts Scholarships. That is always a... Uh... <laughs> That's all we have for today. That's um, that's what we have to show. I did the quote last time. Do you want to start off the week with a quote, Andrew? I got you. Um, so, when lemonade gives you life, go to Dollar General. I That inspired me, just as you said that. Wow. 
We will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.